Optimizing your YouTube channel is extremely important in order to rank higher in the search results and get more clicks. Many top creators on YouTube optimize their videos for maximum growth, and luckily, there's a few techniques available to help you optimize your channel. Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Lucas here from Snappa, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few tips that will help you optimize your YouTube channel. Let's get right into it. The first tip is to use keywords in your video tags, title, and description. You want to try to find keywords that have a high search volume and low competition. There's two free tools that I recommend using to find SEO effective keywords. The first tool is vidIQ. If you sign up for a free account, you can use the search bar to find keywords and more helpful data. If I type in how to optimize your YouTube channel, a few related keywords pop up with information on search volume, competition, and overall score. Keep in mind that you might want to sign up for the pro version to really take advantage of all the features, but the free version still has many useful tools. For example, if you download the Chrome extension, you can see exactly what keywords some of the top performing videos are using, and they even have an optimization checklist to make sure that you're ticking all the boxes. The next tool is rapidtags.io, which is super easy to use and great for generating tags. All you have to do is click Use Tools for Free and type in a video title. The software will then generate a bunch of SEO effective tags for you to use. You can literally copy these tags directly from the website so you don't have to type them out one by one when you're uploading a video. I definitely recommend using both vidIQ and rapidtags.io to find some great keywords that you can use in your titles, tags, and descriptions. I also recommend vocalizing keywords in your video as well since YouTube can now decipher the audio portion of videos. The next tip is to use custom thumbnails in all of your videos. If you create an eye-catching thumbnail that really stands out, it can encourage viewers to click your video over others. Once you start getting some more engagement, it can help your videos pop up in the recommended section on YouTube. I definitely suggest checking out some of the pre-designed thumbnail templates we have available for free on Snappa. And also, have a look at the video we created that goes over all the thumbnail tips you need to get more clicks. I've added a link in the description below. The next tip is to use end screens in all of your videos. End screens are a great way to keep viewers engaged and direct them to other videos on your channel. Chances are, if a viewer is watching your video till the very end, it's likely that they enjoy your content. So using end screens are a great way to encourage viewers to subscribe and even send them to your other social media accounts. We have a bunch of free end screen templates in Snappa that you should definitely check out and we also have a helpful end screen tutorial that I've posted in the description below. Another tip is to create video playlists to increase your watch time. Compiling similar videos into a playlist allows your viewers to flow seamlessly from one video to another. Watch time is super vital because it's actually one of the top factors that helps your videos rank higher in the search results and on the recommended page. So by creating playlists, you can boost your watch time and get more views and subscribers for your channel. The last tip of the day is to fill in the about section on your channel. This section is often overlooked, but the first 48 characters are actually visible in the search results when people look up your channel. So make sure to throw some good keywords in there and describe what your channel is all about. You can fill in your about section by going to YouTube Studio, clicking customization, and then click basic info. In this section, you can also add links to your social media accounts that will appear in the bottom right of your banner image. If you don't have a custom banner image uploaded on your channel, then this is something you need to do ASAP. Adding a custom banner is important for your channel branding and adds a sense of cohesion and professionalism to your content. Snappa offers a great selection of free customizable channel art templates, and we even have a banner tutorial that I've linked in the description below. Well, that wraps up today's video. Hopefully you can use some of these tips to optimize your channel and grow your audience. Remember to like and subscribe for some more amazing content, and we'll see you in the next one.